What's up guys? We're gonna do a totally different video for you today guys. We in the We in the bush. I'm gonna do a special catch and cook today in the bush. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see I posted up a picture of a massive snook I caught a couple of days ago. Now I don't have footage of catching the snook, but what I do have is an awesome story. So today we come in the bush, we're gonna cook up a piece of that snook, a gourmet style snook. And I'm going to give you the story about how I caught that snook. Step by step details. I also have some pictures that you didn't see before. And then at the end of it all, I'm going to try to catch a small snook just to show you what a small one looks like compared to the big one I caught. So stay tuned. It should be an epic adventure. We have about 10 minutes walk that way through the bush. Stay tuned. Should be epic. We have arrived at our destination, guys. A little stream. Going into the main river. Somebody was fishing here, leave our line. Alright, so I'm gonna set up everything. We walk with all that. We lost this. Guys, when you film in, you have to walk with plenty of stuff. Alright guys, so I go and set up everything now. While I'm setting up the stove, everything else, chopping up stuff and thing, I'll show you the footage of the trip I had out with Kalpoos down the river and out in the, in the shallows. Plenty small fish, level butters, and we'll come back in, get some decent snook and tap on. So check it out now. If you come back, I'll start cooking up this fish. Alright guys, I found a little bit of a better location. So let's go. I forget guys something very important mosquito repellent so this spot better but I guess a mosquito in the team right by the water's edge wonder if I can go up there by looking super slippery Alright guys, so we have everything possible. Must bring the whole kitchen. Ever important cutting board. Pan plate. Waters to wash hand and mouth or whatever. Is this snook, guys? I have two pieces. I think I might just cook up one. Check it out. From now one snook, we might get about eight to ten meals. Yeah, 
it was that nice of a size check it out very nice white meat and i just cooked this guy here it's just me alone so nice healthy chunk there put this guy back in my cooler bag for now if i'm hungry i'll cook the next piece but i think we should be okay cook that for dinner veggies soy sauce everything inside here butter egg special dish we're making today all purpose seasoning all right guys we're just going with some all purpose seasoning on the fish not much two sides we actually want to make a sauce for it after so we don't put too much seasoning all right should be good to go all right guys we're gonna cook up the fish first then make the sauce then make my side dish with it so let's light this stove up boy we have fire baby get some oil in there Alright guys, that should be hot enough there. Oh yeah. Nice healthy chunk of snook. While it's cooking up guys, but when I'm eating I'll tell you the story about how I caught this fish. Let me just make sure I cook this to perfection. So I'll focus on cooking it. Brought my wife's good plate here guys that is one thing i can't do anything with but that's securely there so i kind of take a piece of fish so maybe two and a half minutes on each side two minutes two and a half see me white coming across here that means that side almost cooked. We flip it a couple times and it should be good to go. Like I say, I want to sauce on it. So it's just basic, basic seasoning. I should almost be done there, guys. Yeah, that should be it. Nice coloration. So for the sauce, we're just going in some butter. Generous amount. Melting that down. with garlic something big just swim there again but plenty garlic guys and just a little bit of oil Alright guys, as, as soon as the garlic started to turn brown, that sauce is good to go. Just going to drizzle that butter, garlic sauce all over the fish. Crab, Crab. alright, alright. Hope you catch them, man. Hope you catch them. 
All right, so check what we have inside here, guys. All the veggies. We're gonna make a quick egg fry rice to go with the fish. We gotta go quick because these freaking flies are crazy. We have soy sauce. We have a spice blend in here. A list all this, all purpose, garlic, paprika, cayenne, some jeera, amchar masala, saffron, real mix up there. Sweet pepper, onion, tomato, chili, pimento, and garlic. So we're gonna chop up all these, wait to cook, throw in the egg, throw in the rice, eat the food. Slice some the tomato first, guys. It's rough chop, rough slice. I like chunky. You could adjust the suit. Some chili. And I like spice, so you could adjust how much you want to suit. Onion. We buy the water, I don't think it will make me cry. Everything is rough chopped, guys. Everything is rough chopped. Garlic, too. Sweet pepper, my favorite. Well guys, I recording all the time on my GoPro, but it just died, battery overheat and I miss out all chopping up all this. Some tomato, garlic, onion, sweet pepper, chilies, flies taking over. So we're gonna start cooking up the egg fried rice and mix the egg as well. This egg and the special seasoning mix here. Full combo of seasoning. So I'm gonna start to cook the egg fried rice right now. Let's set it back up the stove. Hopefully the GoPro come back on. As I have to show you clips with the phone. Way boy! Film it now, easy now, guys. Cut this video, I like. Back to cooking, guys. Some oil again. Egg fried rice, we're going in with. You know, the space in the cutting board. I used to throw all this stuff through, you know. Everyone know that? Let's check it. So we're going to let this caramelize a little bit, then we're going to throw in the egg. Garlic, tomato, onion, chili. And in the end, I'll go through the rest of the veggies. And then the rice. Some leftover rice I had in the fridge. I said, let me come and do something with it. There you go. Do. All right, you see it started to turn brown already. in there with the egg we rest our veggies then the rice this is real rice here boy Just some leftover rice guys in your fridge. Cool rice is the best to make like fried rice with. Wait sir. Normally I just make it in a walk so I don't spill as much. But anything we spill, fish eating it. Alright, you can try a little bit more of the spice mix. A little bit of soy sauce. Give that a mix.
And you're basically done there. Mix up everything, switch off the stove. All right, guys, now with the plate top, we have a lot of rice here, man. I didn't bring a spoon. Late lunch. Here we go, guys. Butter and garlic snook on egg fried rice. So check it out. Fudge. So here we go, guys. Butter and garlic snook on egg fried rice. Looks delicious. Time to eat it. GoPro cut out again, guys. Way. All right, guys. Meal is finished. I mean, the next GoPro cap out. I don't know how much of the footage I get. But let me try it right now. Check this snook. Flies what is. Snook is a delicious fish, guys. Perfect, firm, nice white meat. So while I didn't get this story about how I catch this fish, right? It was night fishing, that's why I didn't record it. I'd have recorded in the night, GoPro to pick it up too good. And I had the GoPro. In my bag, but I just didn't record. So me and, me and JLo, my, br my brother, we went fishing alone, two of us, on a jetty. Now this man begging me to go fishing in that spot for a long time. But again, I don't really go much night fishing because when I go night fishing, I don't get footage and these days are real lacking footage so I wasn't I was kind of hesitant to say the least but Jello kept asking me and asking me asking me so I said okay no scene bro we'll go so eventually I went and picked him up around just before 9 p.m. and we left to go to the spot we had like a handful of shrimp and that was the only bait we had but the, the goal was to catch bait and use that bait there we fished that spot a couple times before we know it had big snook so that's always a target when we go there. When we went, the place was blackout with bait. Red sardine and mixed up with Joshua in between. Real bait, so we know we was in for some action. Casting net, Christmas tree net with red sardine. I catch one or two Joshua in between. Started fish with it, and we started to get a couple small bites. Guy next to me was fishing. He was using a hand line, a hook, a hook, and just a hook, and throwing it out in it with, with the bait we caught, and throwing it out. He caught a small snook, maybe a, a pound and a half or so. So I said, alright, fish on any day. I switched up my rod. The pen pursued three thousand pen pursued three, four thousand combo, four thousand size reel, seven foot rod. I think I have 20 pound braid on it and I lead out 30 pound lead on it. Put on a small hook, a number 10 J hook. But the bait small, so I'll try to match up hook size with the bait size. Make an next cast with the net. Christmas tree again. But we get one or two just in between. I took one, hook it through the eye, drop it down. In between all the bait. Throw it in the middle of the ball and I slide sink down. Couple, you know, I lift it up slowly, drop it back down, leave it, leave it. I get a bite. I had the fish, fish had a fight, strike it, pulling it up, pulling it up. And if I get the fish to the we're fishing from a height, a jetty. So it's a good way down, maybe maybe 12 to 15 feet down is a good height. And the water there is a bit deeper as well, maybe about 15 to 20 feet as well. So I'm bringing them up, bringing them up, bring it to the surface, flip them up, I see a nice beachine come off. A beachine, nice fella. Uh, maybe about two foot. And you fall off. Toss so away, boy, fish boy. Hook back up again. Next small Joshua about this size. Through the eye, throw it down. In the bait school, let it sink straight down. Lift it one or two times and leave it. All of a sudden, I just feel, feel a tap. Do, do, do. Toot, toot, toot. And the things had to go, so I strike. When I strike, the rod just bent back on, and he drag on that is not much. So the fish just I started to dig, started to dig, started to dig, and started to fight. I say, way boy, big fish here, big fish here. Now Jello was convinced it was a big snook from the start, because that's what we have there. We target them a couple of times. The fish start to fight, take off, but he kind of head shakes. I kind of thought it was going to kind of snap a vibe. I was fighting so hard I couldn't believe it was a snook. I wasn't expecting his size. So he started to dig, dig, dig. He started to go towards that jetty, an ex-jetty arm. 
if you go on that jetty, that is the 12 lost it. But I don't have much drag to fight him on that rod. So I keep on tightening the drag, loosening the drag. As he go towards the jetty, I tighten it all the way and pull the rod out, put, try and pull him away from the jetty. Dig, 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 and he turn. Then try to go under the next jetty, tighten the drag, pull him out again. I know the hook was small, so I can't put too much pressure because it will straighten out. So I get him away from the direction of the jetty, so I had to swim out a little bit, slacken the drag a bit, and fight him. Now we had no gaff, we had nothing to game with, and it was on a height, like I said, 12 to 15 feet. And I initially saw him under the water, I said, maybe I could flip him. I didn't see the true size. But when we come up alongside and we see him, no way I could have flipped that fish. Rod might have break, hook would have straightened for sure, lying with our bus. So I had to keep on fighting him. Now I was concerned, knowing as a snook, it would chafe off, because that fish is real chafe off real fast. So I was just, but I know I had to fight him till he dead, and the only way to get him up, to, to throw the net on top of him. So I fight him, fight him, that fight went on, I don't even know how long, it seemed <laughs> like about a half an hour, but maybe about five minutes. Fight him, fight him, fight him, and see him come up to the surface. But he come up real close to the jetty. Jelo couldn't throw the net. So I said, all right, no, 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 don't throw it yet. Fight him a little more, fight him a little more, a couple, and maybe a minute again. And I game to go out opposite side of the jetty, and he, he started to come. Fight him, fight him, and he float up. You know, snookers float up, he float up on his turn sideways. I said, Jelo, now is the time, now is the time. Jelo ran across to the net, throw it on top of him. Not the best throw. But he cover him. As he threw the net, I opened the bale. So the net started to sink, he going on with it. So as I see him in, I say, Jelo pull. He pull, and when he pull, I see that snook in the net. I say, what the hell? Check the size of that thing. Jelo started to pull him. But a height. He said, boy, help me pull it, help me pull When he pull it up, and I grab him, and I pull him up, and we flip him up. Boy, we was crazy. We couldn't believe that size. I thought it was a decent size, but I didn't think it was so big. When you see him out of the water on the shore, it was huge. That's the biggest snook I ever caught in Trinidad. Caught one snook bigger than that before in Tobago. But this was a monster, a true monster, a real nice fish. Now, you know normally a throwback snook, but seriously, you know the fish and how the fish going these days. Freezer's just about bay, so we decided to keep him. Now, take a look at some of these pictures here, guys. We got on the night. I mean, not the best pictures, but these will have to show you. Check it out. So, we end up reaching home about 1, 1 a.m., 1.30 around there. Snook master's supposed to go with us. We had some schoolwork to finish. So we stopped doing schoolwork. When we reach home now, we call him. The man come across, the man was shocked. The man said, bro, take the title as snook master. I say, you know, see, not taking that. <laughs> and check him, he come up post some pictures with it as well. Check these pictures with me and him. You see, now, real nice pictures. I mean, again, we didn't get the best pictures, no video footage, but at least we have this to remember it by. So check it out. We weighed the fish, our digital scale, just under 20 pounds. We are let it. I left it in the freezer till the next morning, so we get a good fillet on it. Next morning we come back, me snook master and Jaylo, and we fillet that fish. I take one fillet one side, and then fellas split up the next one. Out of that fish, I sure we get about eight to ten meals. Like one meal right here, plenty more. That fish was real thick. I mean, the fillet was thick. You could cut that fillet in half and get two. I mean, I wish I had it on footage. I really do, I really wish I had it on footage, but I thankful I just was able to catch it. I now eating it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Very different, but I just thought I'd do something else different to honor that fish. Truly a beast of a snook. And catching on the 4000, how I did fight him on a small 10, size 10 J-hook. To me is epic, one of the best catches of my life. Wish I had the footage, but at least I have the memory and the pictures. By documenting it here, putting it on YouTube, at least I'll always have this to remember it as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Hope you enjoyed the cooking. I'm not sure how much I've it recorded. The GoPro froze. That's painful. I was trying to record the whole thing and show you guys. I hope you saw most of it. Eating it now, just about finish. This little snook just jump right here. So go and finish this off and make out a, a 10 cast. See if I catch a snook to show you all. A live, living one. How small they are to how big they get. So we release the small ones guys. I see too much people keeping them small common snooks. Don't do it. Release them. We will get more monsters out there. In America, in the US, the size to keep is 28 to 32 inches. They do that for a specific reason. The breeders breed and the small ones get a chance to, to reach maturity to reproduce as well. All them little two pound and three pound common snook as people catching, guys, please stop it. Let the fish grow, we will get more monsters and more people will be able to catch them. I mean, I catch a fish like that, 
is a memory for a lifetime. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Might see my end closing out to that little snook. Thanks as always for watching. Till the next one, keep fishing, keep cooking, fish on, eat on, cook on. Thanks for supporting. Great meal. Now we catch our snook now. Guys, you see from this size, well, I think that's what's mine. Not a common. But the commons start up this size as well, and they get to be monsters. Check him out. to catch a micro stuff there. Oh, there's a snook. Nice one, actually. Have to make the correct. Oh, nice one, boy. He's a fat boy. What the heck? That is a nice fat snook. Hi right, guys, so we just eat snook, different kind of snook. This is a fat snook, you see a different shape. So they don't get, he don't get as nearly as big as he want to caught. Fat snook guys, nice <laughs> one for here. Maybe 13 to 14 inches, check him out. Real nice fella. Drink back in the clear water. All right guys, so I'm gonna make about five more casts for that. Is that decent size little fat snook? Nicole is not really fishing today. It's just a cook and tell the story. Okay, get right in our shadow line. That is where them fellas hanging out. That should be a fish. Oh, I get hit. Miss him. Try and go back right there. Right in the shadow line. This should be a fish. Up. Same thing I tell you. Small one though. Well, then just chilling in the shadow line. But this is a common snook, guys. This is the same kind of snook that I caught the big one and cooked. Check the size of this one. Six inches, baby common snook. Imagine they get to 25, even 30 pounds. You gotta let them grow, guys. Check the size of this one, it turns into a monster. Get big, bro. Shadow line all day. Oh, missed it. Oh, have him small one, real small again. Just ticking our shadow line. <laughs> Quick release. Oh.
So I'm planning to train Shadow Line here. Sketch the tree, guys. Alright, guys, five more casts. And we're out of here. Alright, guys, I'll make a few more last casts. As any tooth fisherman will do. Fish our next fat snook. Nice humpback fat. Something's running in the bush, man. Look like a mat. Take you. Went in a hole, probably. Hi, guys, we made it back to the car. Epic mission this morning. One thing I forgot to mention we think about some course. Cool, um, Supporter tees, black tees or solid color tees with the logo. Hashtag in the back, fish on, fish in his life, have water, will fish. Let me know, comment below if you're interested, if you might be interested in getting one. Maybe around 125, deliver by TT Post, $25, maybe. We'll see how it goes. So if you're interested in that course, I'm supporter tee, let me know. Support the channel, guys. I appreciate it. Keep fishing, fish on.